Welcome to another Learn and Gain session on ITIL. In this video, we will talk about request fulfillment process. What is a request? The act of asking something to be given or done is a request. Why it is called as a service request? It is called as a service request because, you are either requesting to a service or request for a service. Sir, what would you like to have? I would like to have a pizza. Thank you. We will have your pizza ready in 10 minutes. In this example, a request was made for a pizza to be prepared. The waiter indicated to the customer that it will take 10 minutes to deliver the pizza. It is always a good practice to set expectation on the fulfillment timelines to the customer prior fulfilling the customer's request. The waiter takes the order to chef in the kitchen for preparing the pizza. This is equal to submitting an IT service request and it is being routed to the correct support group. What is the objective of request fulfillment process? 1. To provide a channel for users to request and receive standard services for which a predefined approval and qualification process exists. For example, ordering a new item in Amazon is a service request. Amazon provides online shopping service, and we are requesting to the service for a new item. 2. To provide information to users and customers about the availability of services and the procedure for obtaining them. Ordering instructions, product availability and delivery timelines mentioned in the Amazon site. 3. To source and deliver the components of requested standard services, for example licenses and software media. Here we are ensuring that the product and boxed and delivered. 4. To assist with general information, complaints or comments. For any questions related to product, delivery timelines, information, we can reach out to customer care. Requesting a taxi for transportation is a service request. Transportation is offered as service through taxis and we are requesting to be transported in a taxi. The process needed to fulfill a request will vary depending upon exactly what is being requested, but can usually be broken down into a set of activities that have to be performed. Some organizations will be comfortable to let the service requests be handled through their incident management processes and tools, with service requests being handled, as a particular type of incident, using a high-level categorization system to identify those incidents that are in fact service requests. What is the value to business? The value of request fulfillment is to provide quick and effective access to standard services which business staff can use to improve their productivity are the quality of business services and products. Centralizing fulfillment also increases the level of control over these services. This helps in reduced cost to support. Hope, we were able to provide some informational insights on request fulfillments process. For more videos visit our website at www.learnandgain.in. You can also subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We would be publishing more videos on ITIL concepts. You can also follow us on facebook.com slash learnandgain. Thank you. Have a nice day.